Uh, hello, this is a uh, video from BX Clinic about foot taping. So specifically, we're talking about for heel pains and we're talking about for arch pains for this type of uh, taping. So it's, uh, it's a modification of a type of taping called low dye taping. Uh, and we're going to, for that, be using zinc oxide tape. So it's a, quite a stiff tape, uh, which has, I kind of think of it like a bed sheet with some sticky on the back of it. Ideally, you have these two sizes, so a two and a half centimetre and a five centimetre uh, tape, but you can get away with just the five centimetre one because you can tear it into, into parts. So the first thing we're going to do is tape around the foot. So what we're looking for there is something to stick all of the tape to. So it's always good to get the tape started. There we go. So you're going to use the non-sticky side of the tape to measure first of all. Now you're going to need <coughs> three strips of about that length. So you can prepare those beforehand if you wish to, um, but for the purpose of this we'll do them as we go. So we're going to start on the knuckle on the outside of the little toe, bring it round the back of the heel, try and keep it nice and neat and flat as you go around the back of the heel. Then as we reach the big toe knuckle, we just want to push it down slightly so we've got the tape just above the, um, the big toe joint. So the aim is to sort of just pull that big toe down, the first metatarsal, the big toe just down a little bit. So the next one we're looking for is about the same length as that first one, so still again using the thinner tape, but this time what we're going to do is something called a heel lock. So we're going to start around the middle of the foot and then we're going to bring the tape around again trying to keep it, it will ruffle up a little bit so don't worry about that too much. As we get to here we're going to try and apply a bit of tension and then cross over so it looks a little bit like one of those uh, ca uh, charity ribbons over the top but we're just putting a little bit of pressure in that direction around there so we're just sort of holding that heel in. So next we're going to move to the thicker tape where we're going <clears> to <throat> just support across the bottom of the foot. So we want that again using this non-sticky side, we want that just about long enough to stick on either side of our anchor tape, the first one that we used. So here we're going to anchor it on the outside of the foot, bring it round and again applying a bit of tension, pull, the, pull it up. So we then want a second piece around the same length so we're going to cross that by half so there's a crossover of half the width of the tape put it round and up and again we're just going to put a bit of tension in this direction so we're sort of trying to pull the foot round uh, towards the other foot with it so you carry on like that until using as many bits of tape as you need for the length of that individual's foot all right so in this case uh, three looks like it's probably enough. So the last one we're going to do the opposite way. So we're going to pull it back around this way but again trying to bring that big toe down which then creates a bit more of a steepness in the arch for the short term. So this is <coughs> in, a <coughs> Sorry again. in an attempt to sort of just provide a bit of a higher arch in the, for a little while uh, while, they're, while we're using the tape. All right? So we're resting the tissue underneath here in some way. So the last thing we need to do is when she's going to stand up, the foot will spread on the ground. So we want to just put another bit of tape across the top to protect against that. So we're going to lower you down. So just jump off from there for me. So as she stood up, you can see it sort of spread the foot a little bit. And again, using the non-sticky side of the tape, just measure across there. And this again, just sort of holds it all together. So we find these, this sort of tape usually lasts about three to five days. All right? You have to try and keep it as dry as you can, all right? and you can replace it if it comes off. So uh, I've been Ian Sadler from BX Clinic, just talking about some low dye foot taping for uh, heel and arch pain. Thanks a lot.